Hello everybody and thank you for watching this short video in which I'm going to explain how to replace either the mortise part or the cylinder part of the locking system that we use on our control drugs cabinets, medicine cabinets and MDS drugs trolleys. It's the same lock over all three systems. Um, so to start what you'll need to do is obviously remove this part from the cabinet or the trolley itself. There is another video um, there's a separate video for drugs cabinets and medicine cabinets uh, and a separate video for MDS drugs trolleys, which you can find on our website, links to those. Once you've removed this from the cabinet or trolley, you'll need to take your key, put your key in the lock, and then make sure that the mortise is thrown so it's in that position there. If it's in that position, you won't be able to do it. So make sure it's thrown like so. Then, using a Phillips screwdriver, you're looking for this bolt here. Remove the bolt using the screwdriver, like so. Then what you'll need to do is, well, you'll notice that the, the cylinder is then loose within the mortise, but it won't come out. It won't come out because there's a, in the part you can't see of the cylinder that's in the mortise, there's a cam, and that cam is preventing the cylinder being removed from the mortise. So looking at it from the front, if you take your key from the vertical position and rotate it ever so slightly clockwise, you'll feel when the cylinder can be removed. Now I'll better show you why that is. If we put the key back in the vertical position, what you'll see is this cam here. This cam is the actual part of the cylinder that does that throws the mortise that locks the cabinet. Now what you need to do is get that cam, which is the, the black bit you can see where my thumb is there, and you're turning the key clockwise to bring it flush within the Euro profile, like so. If it's there you can't remove because that will clash with this part of the mortise. So if we get it flush, it can be removed. And then likewise, when we're putting the lock back in the cabinet, your new lock will come looking like that. We again need to put the keys in, turn it so it's in the flush position, and then we're putting the Euro profile cylinder back into the mortise. Now it might take a little bit of force, but we're getting it to a position again so that the profile, the, the cylinder is sticking slightly out of the mortise on that side and all the way out on that side. Now what we're going to have to do is make sure that that hole lines up with that hole because that is the hole that essentially you're going to be tightening the bolt into to hold them both together. Now it's a process really of blind look to be honest with you. So put the cylinder back in the door, in the mortise sorry, pop the bolt in and then just Jiggle it about very so slightly and you'll see that the, the bolt starts to move. You know then that it's roughly lined up. Start and tighten the bolt up. You can use your fingers and you can see now that we've got hold of the bolt. We've, the bolt's got hold of the cylinder. Then take your Phillips screwdriver, tighten the bolt up reasonably tight so that the cylinder is nice and tight within the mortise and then just check it all works. Simple as that. Just remember that the mortise bolt needs to be thrown in its out position at all times, and that's because we pin the cylinders to make them key retain, which is part of um, our interpretation of the regulations, basically. So the key retention means that if you try and remove the cylinder from the mortise when it's in its open position, as it is now, you won't be able to get the cylinder out of the mortise. So. Make sure the mortise is in that position at all times. If you're struggling any further with it, give us a call. Um, one of our team will be happy to talk you through the process. Thank you. Bye-bye.